Today I have a tutorial to show how to create a PDF fillable form from an Excel file. So um, the first example I'm going to do is just a simple just a simple name address. I'm just going to start this from scratch. I'm going to do just some basic formatting. And And this is just going to be a six field form, just something very simple. I'm going to put outside borders on these five fields. And I'm going to save this. save as to PDF. By the way, this um, version of Excel is 16.75.2. It should be the latest version actually. And then I'm going to take this and open this in Adobe Acrobat Professional. And the tools down here, I'm just going to use Prepare Form. And I'm going to use my current document, no signatures or anything fancy. And you can see that the outline fields are detected and the labels I put next to them. Exactly. I mean, I capitalized the N here, it's capitalized here, didn't the rest of it. And then you can do some further modification here and reorder them here in this same panel that you use to prepare the form. If I reorder them, it will adjust the tab order of this. So for example, I could also move this up in the tab order. I could change it that way. I could adjust the properties here, uh, text field properties. I could hide it, read only, make it required, change the name, the tooltip, um, adjust the size of it. For example, I could format it as a special and then select phone number. So that just gives you, gives you some options when formatting this form, this simple form. Special zip code plus four. And then when I'm done, I just close this. And then I'm going to test this. And then I adjusted the tab order. So now I have phone number. And then Okay, it wants it wants that that four. I need. I just typed in a bunch of numbers. Yep, that works. So that's my simple form. And then I downloaded from create.microsoft.com. I downloaded a more complicated form just to show you 
just to compare so you have a, a basis for comparison this I, I ran into this on a recent project and I there was some customization I needed to do to get it to get it to perform correctly as a PDF so I'm just gonna zero all this out this this came pre-filled I'm just deleting these columns So I'm going to save this as my as my blank. And I'm just going to show you how this would pull into just PDF if I did did an export save as PDF. And then I'm going to pull this in to Acrobat. And then over here, this icon, prepare form, starting with my current form. And you can see it does a decent job of detecting the fields. So back to my form. The best way to get Adobe Acrobat to detect fields is by using point sizes that are within like 10 to 24 points. Using an uncluttered layout that doesn't have a lot of tinted boxes, um, overlapping fields, just uh, busy graphics, drop shadows, things like that. And I think that's what we're running into with this particular form. So I, I'm going to clean this up. I'm just going to make this all no fill, uh, all borders. In fact, I'm just going to do that with all this. Some of these fields also are um, merged. So that, that may affect how it's reading this form, but I'm just gonna try to clean this up. This also, these are, some of these are merged too. I'm just going to see how how this how this helps. Just high contrast is what what you would want. And then um, once you get the fields detected, you can go back and try to add some of these other style style elements and see if you can get away with that. But I would just work backwards.
And even this reverse type here is probably not the best idea, but but you can always delete fields after import. Save as PDF. Open an Acrobat. Prepare form. And it's a little bit better. And I was actually finding that this is the best I was getting from a really complex form like this. But what I would do just to streamline this is, is create another version of this. I'm going to save this as B and I'll show you how I would do this. I'll open the first one back up. And I'm just saving this as A. So now I have two. So I'll prepare PDF form on both these. And I'm working with B as my final. And so what I do just to just so the tab order isn't a complete mess. I'm just going to start with, I'm going to assume that all this is these, these, I don't need these. But I'm going to select this and drag it over and then drag it over again. And you'll see if I show, I'm going to show the tab order on these. Show tab numbers. And you'll see that this is, it's going down the first three columns and then it ends for this section. I don't need this. And then I'm going to create the next section. I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to add my vehicle payment field. And you can, you know, rename these. I mean, if whatever your master is named, it'll just flow through as you're copying this. And then my vehicle payment needs to move up above here. So we see 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So that, that's what I had to do. I had to create, just detect as many fields as I could and then use that as my template, use that as my working file to create my master the way I want. So, but showing tab order can change the properties of a field to format it. And um, just cutting and pasting, what I do is I select this column and then I hold the option key on Mac and the shift key to re restrict it horizontally when I drag. And then I have my next section. And you can even do this, I mean, if you wanted to just, if you wanted it to go across instead of down, you could do all three across and then duplicate it down instead of duplicating it across. 
So that's my, you know, simple but somewhat lengthy tip for today, how to create a perfect fillable form from Excel. And actually, since, since it really didn't do the best job of detecting, I mean, you get it to detect as best as you can with the lines, but then I could actually have gone back to my original tinted boxes and place the fields there. And that would have, then I would have been able to keep my, my formatting. So hope this is helpful. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.